Welcome, this is the quick review and tutorial of Nikon FM2. Nikon FM2 is advanced uh, semi-professional interchangeable lens with 35mm film, single lens reflect or we call it SLR camera. It was manufactured by Nippon Kogaku KK or today they call it Nikon Corporation in Japan from 1982 to 2001. The original camera was released with some incremental improvements such as higher flash sync speed in 1984 and this later version commonly referred as FM2N and is for new due to the letter in the serial number right there letter N the FM2 originally used in advanced Nikon design metal bladed bearing mounted vertical travel focal plane shutter with a unheard of uh, speed range of 1 over 4000 a second this is the first uh, uh, SLR that has 1 over 4000 a second plus bulb And the single speed of this camera, it was uh, 200, 1 over 258 a second. And the dimension is uh, 90 millimeter on height, 142 millimeter on width, and depth is 60 millimeter, and the weight of 540 grams. It was available in two colors, black or chrome trim. And like the predecessor of FF2 and FM2N, has long standing reputation for reliability and durability. It has an extremely strong body copper aluminum silicon or silumin alloy the FM2 film transport consists of high strength hardened metal gear and moving parts mounted on cluster of ball bearings the camera precision is high strength vertical meter shutter with fabricated originally of Lightweight titanium, later production of FM2 shutter blades were made of aluminum. It's right there, it's like a honeycomb shutter. While the mirror and shutter mechanism rides on self-lubricating bearings, the mirror leakages use the same micro prism found on uh, Nikon Professional F2 with some modern improvement design to further reduce effect of vibration and mirror bounce. The FM2 also features Nikon close tolerance assembly of minimal space lubrication, meaning that will uh, be real, uh, reliable operated in temperature extreme 
or minus 40 degrees Celsius to uh, plus 50 degrees Celsius so this one is uh, can work in uh, weather of Canada or in Middle East so I can use this in Kuwait because I was in Kuwait for nine years the temperature is I experienced there is like negative uh, plus 52 so it's too hot so it's this uh, camera will function normally with those temperatures and FM2 accepts all Nikon F by net mount lenses that support automatic index for AI This one is the F mount. Uh, also, the FM2 is mechanically controlled manual focus or SLR with manual exposure control. It is operable without batteries and only needs the two S76 or A76 battery this camera can function without the, the battery up to 1 over 4000 a second the battery only used if you want to use the light meter the exposure control is uh, vertically arranged with plus or zero or minus LED lighting on the viewfinder this metering system can be tracked by Nikomat FT aka Nikomat in 1965 the viewfinder also had Nikon standard interchangeable focus screen with various focus option the major improvement of FM2 is compared to FM where limited automatic uh, dedicated electronic plus control and mechanically timed vertical metal shutter bearing mounted for reduced friction and extended life uh, reaching top speed of unprecedented 1 over 4000 a second with X sync or plus sync of 1 over 58 a second you can find right there normal uh, SLRs the plus sync is only 60 but this one is has 258 a second plus sync and it has 1 over 4000 second uh, shutter speed this shutter was uh, able to reach ultra fast speed because of titanium honeycomb curtain had travel time of 3.3 millisecond half of typical vertical travel metal bladed focal plane shutter of that time so if you can see there is the honeycomb uh, shutter titanium and also uh, the shutter is vertical so it goes up and down some some shutters like going like left and right or horizontal let's lower the speed so we can see there going up and down to improve the titanium bladed shutter from Nikon FE2 was adapted to FM2 in year 1984 and the plus sync increased to 1 over 258 a second the new camera was renamed uh, the Nikon FM2 N 
as I said, because of the I, and it was released in Japan, but the body itself you can you can barely notice the difference because it the butt is the same FM2. The only thing you can see is this one, the letter N on the serial number, meaning this camera is FM2 N. And the shutter speed is going to be it's gonna be like uh, 258 a second on the plus sync. In 1993, a special ultra durable version of FM2N called the FM2T was released and sold in parallel with the regular FM2N. The T stood for titanium, which was the material used to, at the top button of the plate along with the camera back. The Nikon FM2T listed for 1,100 1,120 dollars in 1997. <clears throat> now, we go to a basic operation. To remove the battery, can grab any coin and then open the battery cover okay. uh, on the old uh, cameras that you use the uh, battery the old one they use s76 or a76 but right now it's really hard to find those uh, batteries so i'm using a uh, uh, 357 or ag13 or lr44 so make sure to check the polarity before you install the battery so there is indicator right there positive on the top and negative on the bottom okay to install the battery right there okay. don't over tighten the battery cover okay pull the lever to unlock and then press the shutter button you should see a uh, LED red LED light zero or plus or minus lens mounting to mount the lens let's let's remove first to remove the lens press this uh, lens release button and then turn clockwise if it is canon you have to turn uh, counterclockwise but nikon it's odd it's the opposite okay and then to mount there is like a black indicator right there and also the black indicator right there if it is canon you will see red dot if it is pentax there is like white bump Align the black color on there and then turn the other side until you, you hear the click. <clears throat> Opening the back cover. To open the back cover, you have to lift the uh, rewind lever and pull up. Before you open, you have to slide this lock slide this and then pull the lever so I will slide this one here and pull the lever right there let's load the film so I have 24 exposure or 24 shots ISO of 200 
Okay, make sure that uh, the text pool uh, take the film and also check the sprocket with align then cover and then tighten the film okay and then crank the lever until and then fire the shutter until you get the number one on the film window right there also you notice that with the uh, rewind knob is turning when you wind the film advance meaning you correctly install the film Okay. <clears throat> then set the ISO so we have the ISO 200 so pull this uh, ISO dial pull it up and then turn so set on, set on uh, 200 because we have 200 film making photos so if you make photos just hold the camera firmly compose and then fire the shutter set correct exposure set your aperture or speed dial until you have the correct exposure lights up focusing the subject make sure the mirror or prism or split image is clear so if it's this is your focusing dial and if you're in focus you can press the shutter release button film advancing film advancing is this one use the film lever To rewind, press the rewind button on the bottom right here. Then turn the rewind lever clockwise until you hear the pressure there. Okay, basic parts. This is the film window, so you will check how many exposure you have left. Shutter, uh, shutter release button. Film advanced lever. This is uh, multiple exposure lever. ISO dial. Lip it up, and then turn and then shutter speed dial hot shoe mount rewind lever and this is the lock if you open the back cover um, lens release button cell timer depth of field eyepiece this is where you put the uh, film uh, reference or how many ISO you have or what ISO you get. This is the battery cover, tripod mount, 
rewind button and those are contacts for the uh, electronic winding mechanism for the like a uh, battery grip you can attach this yes, and then this is like a uh, uh, winding uh, mechanism or motor okay let's talk about <clears throat> Let's talk about exposure determination. Deter, uh, exposure determination is the amount of light reaching the film plane is determined by a combination of uh, shutter speed and lens uh, aperture. A shutter speed of uh, 1 over 5000 or 1 over 500 is twice as much light of 1 over 1000 second and only half as much as 1 over 50 at a second an aperture, aperture setting of f11 let in twice as much as f16 and half as much as f8 uh, meaning if the correct exposure of particular picture taken in a situation of 1 over 500 a second at f11 then 1 over 258 a second at f16 or 1 over 1000 1 over 1000 a second at f8 will give you the same exposure the only thing you have to worry or consider is what is your depth of field exposure display make sure your battery is working you should have red led light as i mentioned earlier on your viewfinder plus is overexposed more than one stop set higher shutter speed or higher aperture plus and you, if you see uh, plus and zero overexposed by one over uh, five or one stop zero is the correct exposure zero plus or zero and minus sign is underexposed by one over five to one stop under exposure by more than one stop it you should lower the shutter or open the aperture to let more light comes into your uh, lens or in your camera if the below of 1 over 68 a second I do suggest you use a uh, tripod and to avoid a camera shake or a blurry pictures if it is uh, giving you overexposed or too high no matter what setting you have meaning the the subject is too bright you should have you should use a uh, ND filter to reduce the light coming into your camera exposure management Nikon FM2 adopt center weighted exposure measurement with approximately 60% uh, light measured by a 12 millimeter diameter circle there's a circle on your uh, viewfinder if you look on the viewfinder there's a circle that is a uh, 12 millimeter diameter if the subject is uh, too bright or if the subject has bright background always meter on the subject you hold the camera okay if the uh, subject is like um, uh, standing against the light so you have to focus on their face or on the, on the subject have pressed the button to get your proper exposure and set your aperture and shutter speed and then recompose split image focusing turn the knob until turn the focusing knob until you get the subject on focus same with micro prism and matte outer field focusing that the field setting if you set to a lower aperture major subject is in focus 
if you set on the higher aperture most subject near and far is in focus uh, self timer self timer is this give you 10 seconds this is normally used for a group picture if the photographer wants to be included on the photo so you put here you put the camera on the tripod crank the lever and slide this uh, salt timer and press the shutter release button and it will give you 10 seconds Yeah. how to make or how to shoot a multiple exposure first you have to get shoot a normal picture and then to do a second exposure pull this and then wind you will see this this is not moving yeah okay make sure this is not moving that is second exposure again if you want more so pull the multiple uh, exposure level and then film uh, right there do this as many as you want Plus sync range is uh, 1 over uh, 250 at a second is right there the red one other camera they have like this Mamiya the plus sync is 60 you will see there's a different color they always put different color on the plus sync so I managed to get a sample shot during our maternity session. I was using a uh, Nikon. This is my Nikon. Nikon Z6. I set my Nikon Z6 to uh, ISO 100 with a lens of 24 to 70 millimeter f 2.8 I set the aperture to f8 and shutter speed is 1 over 20 feet per second strobe power is 4 and I'm will and I'm using my pocket wizard remote trigger so I managed to try the uh, this during our photo shoot I set my aperture to f8 because my uh, film sensitivity is ISO 200 I set my shutter speed to uh, 1 over 250 at a second and this is the sample photos I hope you like it Here are the outdoor sample photos. It has lens flare. <laughs> it was midday winter and all the all the surroundings are white. And I forgot to bring my uh, ND filter and my lens hood. So it has some uh, flaring or uh, lens flare.
Thank you for watching and if you like this simple tutorial and review, please like, subscribe and see you on the next one.